Hello, and today we're going to look at infrared spectroscopy. Okay, this is a technique used to analyse organic compounds. Right, infrared spectroscopy, how does it work? Well, first of all, we have some infrared radiation. When that hits a molecule, the bonds inside the molecule start to vibrate. Okay, that's important that word there, vibrate. So they vibrate because they've gained energy from the radiation, they've absorbed the infrared radiation and that makes them excited and start to vibrate. So by looking at this we can analyse the molecule. If you imagine you have infrared being passed through a sample and that infrared radiation most of it goes straight through. Okay, So this is it here, it's gone straight through and its transmittance is like 100%, maybe a bit less. Okay, so it's going straight through. And then a particular bond absorbs the radiation at a particular frequency. So the frequency is represented on the x axis here as the wave number, and that's got units uh, centimeters to the minus one. So if you look at the axis, it's kind of an inverse axis because you've got 4,000 here on the left hand side going down to zero on this side. So here, roughly about 3,500 on this particular example, this is a made-up one, the, a bond has absorbed frequency, uh, absorbed infrared radiation at that particular frequency, and so it's missing now, it's not in, uh, it's not going across here, it's being absorbed, so that energy, if you like, has been taken away. So it's no longer going through the sample, and we get this, and we still, even though it's a trough, we call it a peak. Okay? So that peak represents a particular bond vibration. A particular bond has vibrated and absorbed energy here. Okay? And we can look at this number here and look it up and work out what bond it was. We can work out which bond was vibrating. Right. What do we use infrared for? Well, on your syllabus, one thing you need to know that it's used for, it's used in breathalysers because we can use it to measure the amount of ethanol in someone's breath. It can be used to measure, uh, analyse other drugs as well. You could take a, a sample of urine from Wayne Rooney and see what he's been taking this week. Okay, So use to analyse things, but it's used by organic chemists all the time so they can work out what compounds they've ever made or um, what um, impurities are in different samples. Okay. 